we found out that Sam was diagnosed with pulmonary valve stenosis. From early on in our pregnancy, we knew that he was going to need some sort of intervention after he was born. And Theo, we actually didn't know he had anything wrong with him until um, about two weeks after he was born. I had a great pregnancy and we did not know Colt had a heart problem until after he was born. It was kind of a whirlwind and an unexpected turn of events for us. <laughs> and I guess children's came into the picture day one. If you and your family are facing a diagnosis that may require a heart surgery or a corrective procedure, it's important to do your own research to fully understand the diagnosis and the best available treatment options for your child. And it starts with a conversation. I think if families recognize questions they have that they're unsure about, then they can feel free to come and talk to mm -hmm. us, have a look at what we do, have a walk around the institution and meet the people who might be doing procedures in their children. We want them to inquire. We of course did our research and looked at the doctors and watched the videos and said like, nobody wants to go through this, but we're clearly in the best place for this. We are among the most technologically advanced centers in the nation. And our record of innovation puts us at the forefront of creating more effective and the least invasive procedures to deliver the best outcome for your kiddo. We do a couple different things here that really give us the detail about the child's heart defect that otherwise may not be appreciated on standard tests. One of those areas is, is advanced imaging capabilities. We can actually make a model, we can see inside the heart, we can tell where our surgery is going to be, where the patches have to go, where we have to put our stitches in order to fix that problem. No matter the diagnosis, every possible treatment is considered. Our team of highly specialized surgeons, nurses, and cardiac anesthesiologists are ready to take on the most common to the most complex heart problems. There were so many people looking after Colt's case. I wasn't expecting that either. We're used to having one doctor. Being able to sit down with surgeons, with anesthesiologists, with dedicated cardiac intensive care specialists, with advanced nurse practitioners, with research fellows, with research associates, with the entire group and talk about a patient who's coming for a procedure in a week's time or two weeks time and make sure all that they do feeds into the appropriate decision being made gives you so many more opportunities to do things well. We were always really reassured that the different members of his team were talking to each other about not just his cardiac issues, but other issues that he had and how that might play into a surgery or anesthesia. We always were able to feel really reassured that they were communicating with each other, they were communicating with us. Advancements and innovations in catheterization procedures here at Children's Hospital Colorado have made it possible to avoid having open heart surgery for even some of the most severe cases. Things were just not panning out to wait any longer, and our doctor had said, this is the year, we have to do this. And um, we automatically assumed it was time for another open heart. But our doctor had said, I want to ask. He's right at the level of being possibly a candidate for the cath lab. What we have been trying to do is really make sure that the quality of what we can provide in the cath lab with minimally invasive treatment is exactly the same or better than what can be provided with open heart surgery. The Heart Catheterization Laboratory has been the scene of some of the best innovation in our field over the last you know, several years. And it's that innovative spirit that, that we all have, but the heart cath doctors are especially gifted with that. So even with the most complex procedures we do, we can normally have the patient out of the hospital and home the next day. Patients like Colt, who traditionally would be treated with open heart surgery, which is a fine way to treat Colt's condition, we felt that it was worthwhile trying to do this procedure that he had minimally invasively, allowing him to get out of hospital the next day and back to playing in the street and playing in his house within a couple of days. We expected to be there a couple days and then the nurse was coming in doing her checks and she says, well, yeah, we're going to start the discharge papers. I'm like, what? <laughs> it was, what? We get was, to go home? Yeah. If open heart surgery is the best treatment path, we have the most technologically advanced program and world-class surgeons to ensure the best for your child. Having to part with him to go through the open heart was definitely harder on us emotionally and knowing that it would be more invasive. Even still, I think the recovery was still a lot faster than we expected. And then a week and a half later, we were home and that was it. Theo's had eight surgeries. 
but his heart procedures have been the shortest hospital stays, like the least amount of hardship for our family. Everything that we've experienced through the Heart Institute has been phenomenal. Children with a cardiac diagnosis may face unique challenges throughout their development and childhood. Our family and patient-focused approach doesn't stop after initial surgeries or procedures. We have many different programs here at Children's to address these things from exercise physiology, exercise cardiology, heart failure management, metabolic diseases, adult congenital heart disease. With more than 20 specialized heart programs for all types of congenital and acquired congenital heart and arrhythmia conditions, we have all the resources available for every need and long-term care of the patient and the entire family. Ensuring that wherever you go for your heart care means that you're going to be, have, be able to have access to dedicated social workers, dedicated psychologists, the child life group who really look after the psychological well-being of the children when they're in having procedures, plus an assurance that we have a very, very strong, dedicated follow-up system of clinics where we'll be able to monitor the success we have during the procedures and ensure that turns into long-term, lifelong health for these families. We perform more pediatric heart surgeries than most programs in the country. This means we are more experienced with very complex heart problems, and our outcomes reflect that. The more you see, the more you learn, the more honed your team becomes. Your surgeons can make decisions based on an experience that is rich. Even though the diagnosis may be the same, the patient's needs may be different. One of the things we've been able to build as a group is a really nice web platform for parents to be able to answer information. It's giving them hope, but that hope has data behind it, has actual outcomes behind it, has parent stories behind it, and a team that's been focused on that transparency. Our exceptional outcomes are supported by a robust research program that enables us to offer the most advanced and effective therapies and treatments in the country. Without research and innovation, you don't have options. Unless you're willing to embrace different techniques, different possibilities, different ways of doing things, then you limit yourself to only one traditional way of going about things. I think it's important, wherever you have your child's care, that those people are not just skilled at taking care of kids, but are also leaders in the field. We are not just carrying out the therapy, we're creating the therapy. We're creating the strategies, we're creating the new procedures that are necessary to advance the field. Success now is for a kid to live a typical life, to be able to go join the soccer team or to play music or do whatever a typical kid can do. That's part of what Children's has given us, like hope that both of our boys will able to be typical kids with typical childhoods, a few extra doctor's appointments than most kids, but they're gonna get to live very full lives. Heart Institute is our heart we, <laughs> they make us beat. There we go. They make us beat. Because he wouldn't be here with us right now. They weren't there. If you and your family are facing a diagnosis that may require a heart surgery or a corrective procedure, please contact the Heart Institute at Children's Hospital Colorado to discuss treatment options, processes and procedures, outcomes, and research and innovations as you determine what's best for you and your child. Hey.